Investors are really just reassessing how much the Federal Reserve may have to raise interest rates and how long they keep doing it. And we're getting a typical reaction, which is something's changed and the knee-jerk reaction is always to sell. That's why we think that this is probably short-term, not long-term. The fundamentals remain good, and so we'd be using this as an opportunity to add equities. Jeff, how much of the selling today is uh, algorithmic, uh, computer-driven, and how much is real human beings making decisions? Well, there are a good deal of uh, machine-driven uh, selling today, and that's because once you breach that 3% uh, level on the 10-year, it, uh, it does become a signal. But we look at, at this as a, as a normal uh, progression of events. The economy is quite good. I mean, if you look at the jobs numbers, they're superb, some of the best in decades. Inflation is squarely where the Fed wants to be, and we're right on the eve of upcoming third quarter earnings. So this is just a short-term blip of uh, investors getting used to higher rates. Kate, at what point do you start getting concerned? I mean, it seems like the market has has taken sort of a defensive tilt, certainly in the third quarter with the leadership of healthcare. We, we've seen that leaning. So when you say to use these pullbacks to add, what sorts of additions would you be making? Would it be a more defensive or oriented equity addition, or would it be the high growth areas? It would be to broaden out your portfolio away from U.S. large caps into small and mid cap stocks, which we think are actually a little better positioned right now, and they've underperformed recently. Uh, they're more tied to domestic growth, less tied to global growth, which is where we still think it's strong uh, and positive, but it's less strong than everyone expected earlier in the year. So what you want to do is broaden out. In terms of sectors, keep in mind that rising rates are bad news for both the very high growth sectors, and that's, of course, the fastest growing technology stocks, as well as for the high yield sectors. So what you want to do is be sure you've got some in the middle and a little of each of those, because if the rise in interest rates turns out to stall out, in other words, we don't see a lot higher inflation, and although the Fed will keep raising short-term interest rates, those long-term interest rates are really more determined by the pace of global growth. So you want to have a little bit of everything at a time like this, because it's tough to tell which direction things go. We do think stocks keep rising, and that's why we're saying buy the dips, but be a little more cautious today. So, Jeff, let me turn, turn the calendar ahead to tomorrow when the jobs report comes out. And one of the bright spots mm -hmm. and one of the reasons everybody says the economy is doing so well is that the jobs numbers have been so good. And that has been one of the reasons mm -hmm. the Fed has felt safe in pushing up interest rates. This may sound peculiar, but would you like to see the jobs report be a little soft so that the Fed and, 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 and bond investors uh, don't push yields up quite as quickly? Well, what we're really looking for with the jobs report is a Goldilocks report. You know, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, you know, not, not too hot, not too cold, just kind of down the fairway of, of where we've been in the past several months, you know, 100 to 200,000. Too hot of a jobs report could actually scare the market a bit. And the reason for that is, is that investors may feel that the Fed is actually behind the curve mm -hmm. and they may have to hike rates faster than anticipated you know, which would give them concern. So we're looking for, you know, a, a, a job report that comes right in line. Did, did Goldilocks get eaten? I can't remember. I, 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 I forgot. <laughs> I confused no, her Goldilocks with didn't get. She didn't get <laughs> yeah. eaten, did she? No, she didn't get eaten. No, but I, I've got a <laughs> comment. I think, I think that the market's going to pay much more attention to the wage growth in tomorrow's mm -hmm. jobs report and less attention to how many jobs are created. The creation of jobs is actually really good news for underlying economic growth and the continuation of the solid growth we've been seeing. But it's that inflation worry that I think the market yes. will be more sensitive to. Mm -hmm. So if we see really strong wage growth, that could lead to what my colleague just said, which is the Fed having to be uh, more aggressive in raising rates. And that's where I really think the market will be paying more attention tomorrow.